Okay, so the way I'm going to answer this first question, which is describe the different layers of the TCP IP protocol stack and explain each the function of each layer. Let's just write out the layers first. I'm going to do application layer, which then leads on to the transport layer, which then leads on to the network layer, which then leads on to the loop layer. Now, for each layer, I'm going to explain a little bit about which one does, each uh, layer does. So, it handles app level services to users like uh, Google Chrome, handles the format of set up and converts it. So it handles app level services for the users, handles data format conversion, either one would give you the points and passes down to transport. I'm going to do T for transport. Transport layer responsible for end to end data transport. Error detection. And correction. So correct any issues as well. And flow control. For network layer. This is to do with logical addressing. I.e. IP addresses. Oh, why is that going all weird? Routing and looking at congestion, so congestion control. We then got the link layer. Not responsible of logical addressing, but physical addressing. Also responsible for error detection and correction. says detection and then they do for C for correction because my hand is hurting I don't know why it's hurting this morning also is where media access control happens you all you need to mention is this 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 and one of these purple points Moving it over. Compare, contrast, connection oriented and connectionless TCP protocols, including their advantages and disadvantages. So we've got If I was to do this, I would do it first of all as connection oriented. I'll talk about TCP being a connection oriented protocol. I'll mention that it is, in terms of connection oriented, a dedicated connection between two devices. before transmitting data is created. That really doesn't make sense. So I'm basically saying before we transmit data, we create a dedicated connection. So we create it before we transmit. Whilst if I do connectionless, I'll put UDP. This is different because they do not need to. So they do not establish 
a dedicated, I'm going to do dead for dedicated connection. And they transmit without prior arrangements. It's like someone turning up to your house without letting you know. They'll just, they'll just turn up. Okay, let's go this way. You can mention that connection oriented is more reliable. And requires an acknowledgement of receipt or of delivery. So it's basically like someone delivering a package to you, but they can't leave your house until you sign that you've got it. Whereas speed is choice. Fire and forget. What else can we talk about with these? So I go over a little bit more. Well, I can actually build on this. So if I was to build on this, I'd say then this you so in terms of connection oriented, it guarantees data delivery, error correction, and flow control. Whereas this is all about faster transmission. Efficient for a small, simple messages. And there we go.